Luminar AI, artificial intelligence, photo editing and post-processing. Yeah. When I first heard that, I was like, man, that could potentially change the photography industry as we know it. Hey guys, my name's Ben from Ben's Guide and welcome to the video today, it's great to have you. Now in the video today, I'm gonna to be talking about Luminar AI, which is artificial intelligence and it's post-processing and photo editing images. Now this has been marketed as a program which can completely transform your images in a matter of seconds or in a matter of minutes. And spoiler alert, it can. But not a lot of people wanna do that, or do they? See. When I first heard about this program or this software, I was like, man, that could be really bad for a lot of photographers like myself. But I have been known to react in the past to things without thinking things through. So this time I decided I am going to get my hands on it. I'm gonna try it out for a couple of months, give it enough time, and then hopefully I can make an informed decision on it and let you guys know what I think. And that's what I'm gonna to do today. The one thing I wanna share with you guys is though, if you're thinking that this could completely change things as you know it, if you're that kind of photographer that doesn't like the idea of images which can be completely transformed into something new or different in a matter of seconds, don't worry and let me explain. You see, how can I put this? My style of photography is bold, it's vibrant, it's contrasty, and hopefully it really grabs the viewer's attention. Yet probably my favorite style of photography, or at least one of my favorite styles, is subtle photos. Photos that are muted, that are toned back, that are almost ethereal in nature. Now think about that. You see, you've got two styles of photography. The one which I always capture, which is that contrasty and vibrant style. And then you've got that subtle tone back style. Now these couldn't be further worlds apart. They are polar opposites, but yet I love both of them. And the reason for this is because variety is the spice of life. As humans, if it comes to different food types, if it comes to different films that you enjoy with your friends, on the sofa, if it comes to different styles of photography, we love variety. So to think that one style of editing is gonna transform the photo editing, photo editing industry as we know it, it's just not true. But I did react that way to start with, so it's normal as humans to react to these things. But hopefully, when you watch this and you see me edit these images, you can come to your own decision on what you think about it today and if it's gonna be right for you or not. But one thing I will say is I've been really impressed with this image editing software and what it does that it wasn't marketed to do, like making fast edits and also changing things globally very quickly so that you can have more time to go out and do photography less time spent in doing photo editing. I know that's of interest to me and maybe it is to you as well. Let's jump into this anyway now so I can actually show you how it works and you can see it firsthand and make up your own mind. Here we go. So I'm gonna keep things really short and sweet and hopefully show you what this program can do very quickly to make completely different changes to your photos. Where this really stands out is obviously the artificial intelligence that kind of post-processing that you get with Luminar AI, that you really don't get on the same level with other programs like Photoshop and Lightroom. So because of that, let's jump into the Creative tab, which gives you a lot of these different options. Let's quickly change the sky. We've got this scene here. Let's say that you went somewhere for a while and you paid a lot of money to go and do some photography on location. In fact, this happened to me two years ago. I went to the Lake District, spent a thousand pound, four days there, and it flooded. Torrential rain, tornado style winds, photography was terrible, which was a real shame. But if I knew about things like this, I could have made a little kind of local adjustments or global adjustments in a few little ways and could have rescued some of the photos. So let's show you, with a photo um, like this, and say you wanna change this dual sky, you can go into sky, change the selection. I could then choose sunset. 
and watch what happens. This now gives me a beautiful sunset. But what's really amazing about this is it just knows where to kind of pull it out from. It makes a really good selection here and drops the sunset in the background. So maybe this sunset looks great, but maybe the foreground doesn't look like it fits in the scene. No problems. Let's relight the scene. Let's bring that up. And now we have a photo which matches and fits very well. Super quick. You can change the blending of the horizon if you want to, and you can change the horizon position. I actually think it's done a very good job. So let's move on to something like, let's try augmented sky. Now, if you wanted to, you could add one of these things in the sky background. Now, I don't want to, <laughs> in all honesty, but you can do it. So you could add in, okay, let's just, let's just add it in to show you. You can add in birds. Now, I don't know what size these birds are going to come out at. I've never done this option, but there you go. So now we have birds in the sky, which doesn't look too bad, actually. It looks pretty, pretty good. But you might look at these birds and think they don't look great. So what you can do is you can relight the birds as well so that they actually match the scene a lot more. They now blend in with the sky and look very realistic. In all honesty, I don't want birds, so I'm going to click that off. But you've got the option there, plus everything else you can think of as well. Now, what I would like to do is change sun rays. Let's quickly change that. Place sun center, so I can change the center of the sun. And I can make it here, so it's right by the horizon. And now what I can do is I can push up the amount, and it's going to give me some pretty dang good sun rays right there. Now, they do look pretty impressive, though a little bit unrealistic. So let's tone down the overall look. That matches better. Let's ch change the sun ray length. Let's bring that down. That looks better. Let's change the pen penetration. Didn't think I'd be talking about that in the video. Let's change the penetration. Let's bring that down. And there we go. We've got something which now looks more realistic. Now, we can change the sun warmth. We can make it warmer or not as warm. You can change the sun rays warmth as well to make it even more golden. You've got all these options in here. You've even got sun settings, sun radius. You can change that. Really, there's everything you can think of in here. And what I do like is the fact that you have the control over the artificial intelligence. It's not making the decisions completely for you. You have sliders to change it. And it's really easy to use. It's not like it's a steep learning curve. You just go onto the option, you bring up the slide out, you see what it does, and you decide if you like it or you don't. So you probably wouldn't believe how much this image has transformed already just in a matter of minutes, but let's take a look. This is the first image to start with. And this is how it was to start, and this is how it is now. Just a couple of minutes, and it's a completely different photo. Now I know there's lots of you watching this thinking, well, that's just, that's just cheating or that's completely different. Why would I want to do that? But if you do, that's fine because photography is an art form and you should be expressing it how you want to. And you shouldn't be having someone tell you what you can or can't do with it. That's the truth. But what I will say is the options to transform your images on Luminar AI are phenomenal. Now, like I said, I've used it a couple of months I've been blown away by the options on it. Will I use it much? Probably not. And that's just because I'm not a massive fan of these big transformed images. But there might be times which I will definitely use it for making quick and fast global edits because for that, it's brilliant. It's very good. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys have got a kind of opinion now or an idea of exactly what Luminar AI is. Now, this video has not been sponsored by Luminar AI. I've done this off my own back, but I do want to say that there is a link in the description which you can jump into. Complete honesty, guys, this is an affiliate link. And if you do click on it, it will help and support the channel. If you don't click on it, it's absolutely fine. I wouldn't want you to get this software if it wasn't right for you. Guys, I want to thank you a lot for joining me in the video today. Remember to leave your comments in the comment section below. What do you think of this and would you use it? And if you haven't yet, click that subscribe button. Let's have you join the community here at Ben's Guide. Whatever you do for the rest of the day, guys, make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.